welcome back so today's video is a super rare hair care video from me like i don't think i've ever done a hair care video on my channel like ever i thought i would show you guys how i achieve my heatless curls or waves or whatever you want to call this <laughs> so if you have been watching me for a while i think you would have noticed that i have pretty much the same hair in like every single video it's always this like wavy curly hair so whenever you see this hair in any video this is how i achieve it and get those waves or curls so a lot of people in my like everyday life what do you call it like daily life I guess do ask how I curl my hair and I always tell them like I don't actually use a curling iron or straightener or whatever to curl it and they're like what do you mean oh I do this thing where you twist and twirl and thingamajig and it's always hard to explain so I thought I would finally show you guys how I actually do this let's just go into the actual process of my hitless curls so excuse my naked face and a little bit of nakedness as well. I'm sorry I didn't realize how much you could actually see. But first we are just going to towel dry our hair as much as possible. I am going to say in advance that this isn't going to work for everyone. I have really, really thin, fluffy hair, like not typical Asian hair. If you do have kind of thick, straight, healthy hair, unlike me, this may not work for you. It's just because my hair is so thin and malleable that this does work so please keep in mind that this little trick isn't going to work for everybody so I have just brushed through my hair with my handy tangle teaser this is still pretty much the only thing I can use to brush my hair without kind of destroying it and I'm just gonna puff up my hair and find that part that's actually quite diagonal because I want my hair to generally be equal parts on each side and once I figured out my part I'm just gonna quickly brush through my hair once again now I am gonna part it in the back as well obviously you don't need a really clean line just try to get equal parts of hair on both sides now it is time for a hair serum this is the Schwarzkopf daily oil elixir as you can see it is quite a thick texture maybe a little bit thicker than I would usually like but this is the current one that I've been using I am going to take two pumps per side which might seem like a lot but honestly my hair just drinks up serum so obviously I'm focusing it mainly on the ends from about mid length Length. Now taking a more lightweight serum. This is the Lux Damage Repair one from Japan, which I have been liking a lot as a lightweight one. I'm going to grab that kind of generously on my hands and put it more towards the roots. Since it is a lightweight serum, I can put it on my roots and still it doesn't make my hair super greasy or anything. Once I have applied all of the serum here, I'm actually just comparing the two sides and seeing if the amount of hair is fairly even. And then once again, I'm just going to brush through my hair and make it super, super super smooth and finally here is the trick I'm gonna put my hair behind my ear so it stays put and I'm actually just gonna twist that whole amount of hair inwards make sure it's inwards I've tried it outwards and it doesn't really work out so just keep twisting it inwards until you reach the bottom of your hair once you do get to the bottom just release your hair and the serum should keep the twirls in place if the twirls do not stay, it probably means your hair is too thick or too straight and this trick probably isn't going to work for you. Once you have twirled both sides, it should look somewhat like this. And just to help keep it in place, I am going to use my handy Daiso Thin Rubber Band hair tie thingies and just tie up where the twirl starts. And you really don't have to tie up tightly at this point. It's really just to keep the twirls in place and not falling apart. So just lightly tie them up. The twirls might come a little bit undone. So just twist them again and make sure they're in the right shape. You can move on to the next step straight away. But I actually prefer to leave some time while my hair is in this state. Just because I feel like it kind of allows time to set and keep the shape better. So I might go finish the rest of my skincare or moisturize my body or go eat dinner or something. So you are ready to go. I actually left it for about half an hour on this day. Now we are going to grab the hairdryer and start drying. I know I said heatless which I guess this isn't heatless but technically you don't have to use a hairdryer. You can just let it air dry. I just find that the curls do turn out a little bit better when I use a hairdryer. So I'm just going to dry my hair as much as possible while still in the curls. Try to keep the curls just bouncy and airy and keep twirling it inwards as you dry 
dry so it really does keep that shape. As you can see here, I'm kind of like scrunching and lifting the hair so it does stay fluffy and just really, really trying to keep it in that twirled shape as much as possible. Once you have generally dried the roots and the ends of your hair, I am going to take it out of the rubber bands because obviously that in-between part is still quite wet. So again, twirling it inwards and just trying to dry that middle area. I know it does seem very time consuming, but after this tutorial, I will let you guys know why I do this instead of actually curling my hair with an iron. This next part is not necessary, but if you do want your hair absolutely 100% dry, you may need to take this step and it's just to undo the curls and dry it while it's undone. But you can already see that the twirls are really taking shape in my hair, forming some nice bouncy frizz free curls. Now just keep drying until you are satisfied with how dry your hair is and once it is dry enough, once again tie it up with the small rubber hair ties. This time do tie them a little bit tighter because we are going to be sleeping with them in. Once you have tied it back up, give it one last good blast with the hairdryer and finishing off with a cool shot. Using cooler air at the end always helps set the hair a little bit longer, a little bit better. And voila, you've got a nice bouncy curl. Once you have done this to both sides, you are ready to go to sleep with your twirls. As you can see, even if I do shake them, they've just set really nice in place in that shape. So they're not going to fall out of the twirl while I am asleep. I guess I'll see you guys the next morning and see how it all turned out. Good morning. I've obviously literally just woke up. How gross is my greasy face? And obviously the twirls kept. This is another part that you don't have to do. I just prefer to do this while I actually get ready for the day and put on makeup. I am just going to tie it up in the back with one of those cord hair ties so it's out of my face and still in the twirls. Hello to a finally human looking me. I'm going to take them out of the hair tie and literally just comb through it with my hair, just breaking down the curls so I'm getting a few sections of nice wavy hair instead of one big clump. And yes, I'm totally going to do it. I'm going to do a hair flip to get a little bit more volume in my hair. And look at that. Look at that nice volume, curly, whirly waves. <laughs> so obviously you can just leave it at this point and wear it like that. But sometimes I will get these kind of weird kinks in my hair. So I'm just going to grab my straightener and literally just straighten the surface and not all the way down, but just down to where the kink is and not straightening through my waves. So just by straightening those little bits of hair, my hair looks a lot more put together and it's very minimal amount of damage on just a few parts of my hair without having to heat style the whole thing. And lastly, to help with the frizz and to give it a little bit of shine, I'm going to use the Tresemme Liquid Cold, which is a super lightweight, amazing serum that I've been using for so many years now. And I'm going to just take one pump on the palm of my hand, spread it, and then just distribute it really, really evenly along my hair and there you have it guys that is the completed look of my heatless curls or waves yes it may seem time consuming but I think it is well worth it and a lot less damaging to the hair if I did curl it or straighten it every day there is a couple reasons why I opt to do this to my hair instead of actually using a curling iron and stuff like that because it is a little bit time consuming so a lot of people might think like why don't you just curl your hair it's so much easier you can do it in like five ten minutes but the few reasons why I do this is that one, it actually lasts a lot longer when I do this. When I curl my hair with a curling iron, it usually doesn't last like a full day. And if I sleep in it, it's gone. Like once I sleep, it's just gone. Whereas when I do this, these curls do last pretty much until I wash my hair, which I only wash my hair like probably once every four or five days. So it lasts a way longer of a time. Two, I don't want to damage my hair as much as possible. I have been growing my hair for a while now. I think I've been trying to grow it since like university. Since I have such thin hair, no matter what I do, or even if I don't do anything, it damages. And then also it helps with the frizz. If I don't do anything to my hair, which I will insert a clip or something, it is literally a frizz ball. Like 
It is so hard to control. It's just super frizzy, super out there, and there's like nothing I can do about it. It's not straight, it's not curly, it's not wavy. It's just like a weird kinky mess. And it actually makes my hair look a lot more damaged just leaving it that way. So having it in these curls actually make my hair look a little bit healthier than it is. So they're the few reasons why I do this and usually what I do like 99% of the time with my hair. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that was helpful for some of you or any of you who have been struggling with frizzy, crazy hair like me. Please try it out. And if you do, please like tag me in a Instagram post or something so I can see it, see if it worked for you. But that is basically how I achieve my everyday kind of heatless wavy curls. See you guys in the next video. Bye.